I've been using Blackbox AI for quite a while now, and I bet most of you didn't know about Blackbox, because it is a rising star in the field of coding LLMs, and for me, this is my favorite when it comes to coding. Now, I've already created a review on Blackbox AI, and here is the video. You can go and watch this video over at our YouTube channel. But today, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna explore what's new in Blackbox. So I uploaded this video almost two months ago and now Blackbox has major changes. So let's get started and explore these changes. Now they have this Android app, which was coming soon in the last video that I created. This time they already have an Android app and you can install it inside your phone. And they have this new tab to create a chatbot. So what you have to do is just name the chatbot. Let's say we want to create a YouTube expert. So I'm gonna go and say this is a YouTube uh, expert summarizer or something. Let's go for the instructions. So I'm gonna go and say you are a YouTube expert. You summarize YouTube videos with the help of video URLs. And this is my favorite new feature that you can actually improve the prompt here. So just click here and it will improve the prompt, the instruction that you just built into a really well detailed prompt. So there you go. Now we have to create the knowledge base. So for that, you can give it the URL of your knowledge base or what you can do is you can leave it empty or you can add knowledge base files here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this to the AI and their capabilities to actually summarize these videos. So let's go and create the chatbot. And just like that, my YouTube expert summarizer assistant is now ready. Let's actually go and test this out. So I'm gonna go and paste in one of the URLs that I copied from YouTube here. And uh, let's go and test out the summary. So there you go. Now it gives you the title, the duration, and also the tags used in the video, as well as the summary of the video and some highlights, which is mind blowing, I'd say. That's how you can create your custom chatbots. They even have this new feature of viewing your history, which is really amazing. And that's not even all. If you see here, it has this new feature where you can select whether you want an offline prompt, which means it's only going to go and check their LLM offline, or you can select the web search, but this is gonna go to the web and communicate with the web and give you answers for your prompts. Or you can go with comment code, explain code, code accelerator, and this one is one of my favorite, which is genius mode. If you turn this on, is gonna go and actually optimize your code way better and act like a genius. And if you go with this improve code, with that you can actually improve your code and you can even create your very own custom prompt mode here, which is mind blowing. And this is one of the new features that I really love about this. And another amazing feature that just got released is this plus icon here. So if I click here, it will add another chat right inside here. And if I click again, it's gonna add another chat. So if I click on this minus here, it's gonna go and delete that chat. So these were all the new features that just got released in Blackbox AI. And what if I say this is not even all? Last time when I was reviewing Blackbox AI, they had these agents, but the output efficiency was not that good. But recently when I started working with these custom agents, Trust me, they are mind blowing. And today in this video, I'm going to actually go with three of my favorite custom agents of Blackbox AI. The first one is gonna be the Python assistant. The second one is gonna be the front end builder assistant. And the last one is going to be the YouTube assistant. So let's get started with these custom agents. So firstly, I'm going to test out the Python assistant. Now I was wondering what to actually create using this assistant. So I came up with a couple of ideas like a password generator or a quiz game. So I thought, why not do the both? So first off, I'm gonna go and ask it to create a password generator. Now, this one is going to be quite basic, but you can actually customize it using prompts and later on make it more advanced. So this one is gonna be a command line password generator, which is just going to return a random password. So let's go and test this out. So we have the results and it gave me two different answers. The first one is a simple password generator, but the second one has a few settings, like it should include at least one special character and at least two numbers. So I'm gonna go and choose the second code here. So let's go and just copy and paste this inside my VS code here. So I'm gonna go and create a file, which is gonna be a password generator. 
.py. And here I'm going to paste in that code. After that, I'm going to save this and let's test this out. So all I have to do is click on this play button here and yup, it did pretty well. It generated a really random password and I think this password is quite hard to crack. But let's actually see whether it returns the same password or it actually goes on and return a random password every time. So let's go and run this code once more and let's do this once more as well. So let me zoom in a bit. Let me drag this out and let me zoom in. So as you can see, this is the first password. This is the second one and this is the third one. I know this seems really basic stuff, but this is the core idea behind the password generators out there, which use the same logic, but they have a graphical user interface, which is not present here, but you can actually work on it and get your GUI out there. I was just testing out how accurate the results this assistant gives. And so with that, I think this one pass after that, let's go and now let's create a quiz game. So back at our Python assistant, I'm going to go and ask it to create a quiz game. And that's literally all. So let's go and hit enter. Okay, so the code is out. So let's actually go and copy this out and try to run this on our VS code. So here I'm going to create another file, which is going to be a quiz game file dot py. And I'm going to insert the code here and just save it. Notice that it's only going to ask these four questions because that's all it has. So you can actually increase these questions but for now, let's actually try this out. So let's go and run this. So what is the capital of France? Of course, we know it is Paris. So I'm going to go and say Paris. After that, it says it's correct. So what if we enter a wrong answer? So it's asking me, what is the capital of England? What if I say Berlin, which is for Germany? So let's go and check it out. So it states that, sorry, the correct answer is London. So it gives me the right answer and the game does not terminate at that it keeps going on which you can actually change so i'm gonna go and add random stuff here to actually end this game so with this we have a final score and we have the correct answers so i only answered one question correct now what you can do is you can actually add more questions right here in the dictionary or you can actually get these questions from an api if you want to actually pursue this game further and build a GUI. But for me, I think this code was quite accurate and spot on for the prompt that we gave. It did a great job. Another engine that I really love using is this front-end builder assistant. Although they have the HTML assistant and the JavaScript expert as well. But I chose this one because it's going to include the JavaScript and the HTML in one package. So let's go and test this out. So I'm going to go with the suggested prompt here, which is an app like Twitter. So let's actually see whether it actually creates a good clone for Twitter. So let's go and click on here. All right. So the code is here. Let's go and actually test it out. So I'm going to go copy this. I'm going to go to my VS code here. I'm going to go and create a file, which is going to be index.acml. And I'm going to go and paste that code here. After that, let's save this and let's open this file up. Let's actually try to add a tweet here. So this is my first tweet and um, let's tweet this. So there you go. It's more like a to-do list, but if you go back to black box and you scroll down, you will see that they mentioned it, that this is a very basic template and it does lack many features of a real Twitter app. But for a starter, I think this is quite good. Now, what if I really want to make it a bit more advanced? So I can say add more functionalities such as I want to like the tweet, retweet, and I want a username with each tweet. So I think that much is quite all right. So the results are out. So let's actually go and copy this code and see whether it actually works or not. So I'm going to go and copy this and I'm going to replace that code with this code here. And let's save this. Let's go back to our output. So as you can see, we now have a username. Now I can actually like this post and I can retweet this post. And it has a time of when this tweet was actually uploaded. Let's actually go and upload another tweet here. So I'm going to go and say this is the test tweet. Let's go and tweet here. So as you can see, 
it just uploaded now so it says just now and if i click on like there's one like here and if i click on retweet there's one retweet here now this is the basic template for a twitter app that i created within just a couple of minutes and without any knowledge for coding but you can feel free to add as much customization to this app and create your very own twitter using black box i hope you understand the potential of this custom gpt and at the end it actually suggests you what you can actually do with this so you can implement deletion functionality here you can do real-time updates for new tweets and tweet actions so you can actually create a full stack twitter app but yes you will have to spend some time here and with that said i think i'm satisfied with this custom agent another amazing agent of black box is this youtube assistant and i really love this i really use this when i don't have the time to actually watch the whole video over at youtube all i have to do is just paste in the link of the video just like right now and i just have to hit enter and it will summarize everything from that video but there's a time cap that the video should be one or long not longer than that so let's go and hit enter and check out the results and i chose one video from our channel and there you go now what you need to do is you just have to read through this really short summary here and you will understand what this video is about so i do this when i'm researching about something and i want to work smart and save time and be efficient so i go over at youtube i copy the links of a couple of videos and just paste them here skim through this text here and i will understand the concept from the video and i wanted to share this really productive tip with you guys and that wraps up our video for today we explored the new features of blackbox ai as well as some of my favorite custom agents that i regularly use and i hope this video was valuable if you found this video insightful hit that like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video we will continue to curb your skills with the latest tech till then stay curious and keep exploring